what's up, what's up, what's up, guys? It is your girl, the Jackie Jackson. And the Jasmine Allen. For the first time ever, my little girl is in our video. So I'm really excited about that. We are currently on site on our construction project. We're building this house right here behind us. Is that true, Jess? It's very, it's very It's affirmative. True. I can confirm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're talking about um, estimating repairs, right? So when you're purchasing tax deed properties, um, one of the one of the things that you may not be able to do is go inside, right? So this is our project inside, right there. It's a construction site. You know, it got a lot going on in and out. Subcontractors are coming in and out of our project. But when you are investing in tax deeds, one of the things that you'll have access to is basically like driving by the community, like or driving by the actual structure itself. So you more than likely only be able to see from the outside. So there's four major things that I look out for um, when I am estimating repairs and trying to calculate what my highest bid is going to be because I'm, I, I have the foresight and the forethinking, the forward thinking to make sure that I make some adjustments for these specific elements. So the first things first is um, how old is the roof? How old is the actual property? When was it built? And the way how you determine how old a roof is, you can always go to um, that county's property appraiser's website or the assessor's website, they may call it that in uh, some counties. And you're looking for basically permits. You're looking for the last dated permit when a roof was added onto that structure. Okay, so that's number one. Or use your real estate instincts and just look. <laughs> Yes, you can definitely look to at a, at a roof and tell if it needs to be replaced, right? You may not be able to, you know, I don't know. It depends on your skill level, but the better you get at it, you can look at a roof and say, oh, you know, those shingles are frayed, the, the granules, and that's what they call them on top of the, the shingles, if it is a shingled roof. Um, maybe if it's a metal roof and the metal is rusted, you can obviously be like, oh, that needs to be changed out. Just little simple things like that, like wear and tear, excessive wear and tear on a roof obviously it's going to need to be uh, changed out so if that is the case then you should include that in your budget um, when you are considering purchasing purchasing a tax deed property because if you win that property or you own it at some time in your ownership it's going to need to be replaced right number two are you ready for it number two all right so the heating air and uh cooling and ventilation system right hvac so we live in a warm state so we have central um air conditioning some other states don't have that right we need so this air conditioning outside it's so hot <laughs> <laughs> yes it's kind of warm out here um it warmed up pretty well but we're in a florida winter right now so it's like sweaters in a day and like bikinis by you know mid-afternoon or something like that anyway um hmm. <laughs> it really is right it's like bikinis by like 3 p.m um, anyway, so you want to make sure if you live in a cold state, it's all about that furnace. It's all about like the, the warm, you know, the heating system in that house, right? So those items really have a shelf life to them, right? So even here, our HVAC, the condenser and the motor and the air handler and all that stuff that pushes out a maximum of 15 years and also a permitted item too, right? So you can go again to the assessor or the property appraiser's website and take a look and see if it has been replaced or repaired to see if there's any open permits or the last time a permit was open and closed, right? So if, if there's only evidence of the original permit from when the structure was built, just plan on replacing it or including that in your acquisition that you want to be able to to discount your your purchase price to make sure that you include a budget to replace that so that's number two all right so what is number three electrical oh yeah that's a big thing right electrical wiring same thing every house built in a specific decade is going to have a type of electrical wiring right so a house that's built in the 50s is different from a house that was built in the 20s or the early you know um part of the century versus a house that was built like in 1980 versus a house that's built like in in the 2020s right so the electrical wiring for each one of those um age homes um definitely needs to be addressed and you want to make sure you want to make sure guys that um if you do purchase an older home 
um you want to make sure that you budget for rewiring possibly that house i'm not saying that it won't work right the electricity won't work and all that stuff but you might want to rewire why is that important because you're at some point going to want to have insurance on your property and insurance companies are notorious and i say notorious i mean notorious notorious for not wanting to insure your property because the electrical um wiring is old okay mm, that's, a, that's a real thing wah, wah. all right um what else plumbing plumbing is a real thing right so you know there's like three plumbing options right so you may have um city sewer right city sewer oh we got some shine we look good jazz right. Ooh, <laughs> the sun is everything so you may have um city connected sewer and water which is great or you may have a combination. So you may have city water and then your sewer might be a septic tank, right? So you may want to adjust your um, buying power for that too, because if you have a septic, then it may need to be pumped. You don't know the last time it was maintained, right? So you wanna be able to budget um, for your septic tank in the event that you have a house that does that. Or you may be on well. How interesting is that, right? Some houses have well water. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's where they're getting their water from. So that's kind of cool. I kind of like that sometimes. Oh, well, yeah, it's a thing. Just saying. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you, you, we have too many fairy tales where somebody like poisons your well. Right. <laughs> but no, we're thinking positive thoughts, right? So more, more often than not, there's nothing wrong with the well. It just needs to be maintained because it's a natural element, right? Where you're getting your water directly from the ground. As a matter of fact, we all get our water from the ground, by the way, just FYI. It's a whole, you know, water system thing going on. But you want to make sure that you um, keep that in mind when you are actually considering purchasing any property not just a tax deed property so they call that a four point inspection okay so that's the roof that's the heating and cooling system that's the electrical system and the plumbing system everything else after that is considered like cosmetics right yeah it's like how pretty do you want this property to be but the heartbeat is those four four components that we just talked about thanks and what were they Oh, let's do this uh, again. Uh, uh, uh. You got First it? First of all, mm. we have roof. We got the roof. Wait, it was just like 30 seconds ago. I know the third and fourth one. <laughs> well, give it to us. All right, all right. So first we have roof. <laughs> then we have um, electric. Mm -hmm. And we have plumbing. Uh huh. And remind us of the last one. Oh, the heating and cooling. The heating and cooling. That's wrong. You need some AC. You need some AC or some heat up in that right. up in that property. So make sure that you uh, you adjust your purchase price accordingly, contingent upon the age of those elements in the property. And if you are unable to inspect the property by going inside, just assume that you need to replace it, right? Better be safe than sorry, all right? So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed our video. We're about yeah. to go check out the progress on our construction site. The guys are inside, so we just wanna go inside and say hello, hello. Hello. All right. <laughs> She's like not entertained by my shenanigans. Anyway, bye guys. Bye. <laughs>